Hello and welcome back to the channel, glad to have you here. Today's video we're going to explore how colours affect our social, emotional, mental and physical well-being. We're going to look at the main colours and we're going to uh, observe how or discuss how they affect our physical body and mental um, uh, emotions as well. So let's start off with the color red. What the color red does is that it stimulates the adrenal gland and it stimulates the neurons as well. It actually increases respiratory rate and this has been confirmed through the clinical studies of which I will link in the description box below for those that are interested. Also, it raises the blood pressure. It's also associated with the fiery energy and it can also stimulate breathing, stimulate heartbeat as well. It's associated with um, uh, emotions, unfortunately negative emotions um, such as frustration, such as anger, and it can actually uh, stimulate or cause stress. And that is only when you, there is too much exposure to the color red deep color red so this is really important to be mindful of what the colors we are incorporating in our decor to be mindful of what are the colors that we are wearing as well in terms of jewelry all this plays a role um, uh, it doesn't really affect us the first or second time this is with consistent use so we need to understand our body's nature and our mental nature as well and we need to incorporate and utilize the power of colors in our home and in our um, clothes and whatever it is that we wear as well and what um, what we are exposed to so this was with the color red now let's have a look at the color blue the color blue is totally different to the color red because it's associated with the um, basically a soothing effect on the human mind and this goes back to the subconscious um, knowing that the color blue is associated with calm it's associated with um, uh, you know uh, like nature such as the lake such as the sea and it actually slows down human metabolism and it produces a basic calming effect to the body now beware because too much exposure to the color uh, blue does or has been known to um, cause uh, some mental anguish and um, some sadness as well. Uh, the color blue also has been known to suppress appetite and also it's um, it's really important because it does symbolize wisdom. Now if you look at uh, the one of the main gemstones that I that is has a deep blue color and that is lapis lazuli. Lapis lazuli also symbolizes wisdom, symbolizes knowing and symbolizes calmness as well. So we finished with red and blue, let's head to yellow. Um, yellow uh, is known as a creative color because it stimulates creativity because what it does is on the physical body it uh, helps it release in serotonin it also helps us to have a happy uh, maintain and have a happy mood now too much uh, exposure to the color blue beware because it does cause fatigue and it also speeds up the metabolism and it evokes a pleasant cheerful feeling so if you want that in your life then incorporate more yellow as well and if you do realize that you um have more fatigue then try to lower down the um the yellow that you are using in your life or that you're exposing yourself to now we come to green green has a soothing effect on the eyes and it's a lovely color that uh, relaxes the body it elevates stress as well and it helps in a uh, vision um now green of all its shades has a healing and hygienic effect it's also known as the color of abundance and the color of prosperity and wealth now if you can see with uh, most of the gemstones such as adventurine peridot emerald it um, symbolizes for wisdom as well and symbolizes for prosperity and abundance in wealth now we come to one of my favorite colors which is purple now purple symbolizes spirituality and also deep wisdom um, and deep thoughts as well. Now, um, it also evokes uh, gloom and sad feelings and it does, uh, too much exposure to the color purple does cause frustration. So this is um, really important if you are 
wearing the color uh, purple, if you are having a lot of purple in and around you in your environment and you are facing frustration, maybe try to change that around. Try it for a week, see how you go. Is there a difference? Um, or do you still feel the same? Because all these are based on clinical trials, all these are based on anecdotal um, experiences as well. Now we come to our um, last color, which we will discuss, which is orange. Orange is kind of like yellow, but in a way that it is known to stimulate our mental abilities. It also increases our appetite. Now, surprisingly, it does have an effect on our oxygen as well, because it's been known the color orange to help in stimulating um, the increase of oxygen supply to the brain and it's been known as a wonderful color for help stimulating the appetite which we mentioned earlier and stimulating mental activity so if you have students in the house um, your children you are a student uh, you study often then it's really important to incorporate some orange elements here and there in your desk space um, to really help with that and some lovely gemstones that are known for helping with focus as well um, that are uh, orange or that do have shades of orange and yellow are tiger's eye are orange calcite they're wonderful as well and they're easily um, able to be found and also great prices for them as well quite affordable now we've come towards the end of the video today and we've talked about the main colors and how they affect our physical and mental well-being we talked about red and blue and yellow and green and purple and orange and if you enjoyed today's video then like share and subscribe i'd love to have you on board take care and have a great day